Hello, YouTubers. Today's video, I'm going to show you some interesting OpenWRT packages, especially KMS. So this is my OpenWRT installed on VMware environment. So as you can see, the model is a VMware virtual platform and installed on a VMware workstation. I gave it the one gig RAM, one virtual CPU. It's running very well. It has been seven days, no issue at all. The load average, it almost can be ignorable. I had uh, some nice plugin installed already. So I do have uh, Argon Sim have been installed. And on a service level, I have AD block, which you can find from my previous video and also TTYD, which is a web interface for console access. If you look at the, my software to install both for TTYD, you can search it and then install those two plugins. Then you will have that TTYD packages available for your services. And I also installed um, Argon Sim, which I found it from online, Lucy Sim Argon. And basically from here, you just need to download the uh, Sim packages. And uh, using those commands, because I'm using 19.07 version, you can just go back to the TTYD and uh, using those three commands and then you will get this sim and then you can enable it so let me log in so as you can see I already downloaded it before and after that after you finish those three commands you can just go back to language and enable it so far, I have two scenes, Material and Argon. You can switch between them. Another nice project I want to do is uh, this OpenWRT VLM CSD package installation. I like to have that to be installed, which is Manager Windows Key license. So I found the list from online and this video is going to focus on this KMS auto activation uh, package installation and the testing. This is only for lab purpose, um, just to confirm the concept and the package is working. Let's start it. So let's start it. You need to install this Coke Bar OpenWRT VLM CSD packages to your OpenWRT. But you won't be able to find it from your software list even you updated your list. So we did updating our list but when you search for it you won't find anything here. By the way, if you need to update your system packages, you can directly go to the update. Just click update, and then you can update it in just a couple of seconds based on your system speed. Just updating all of them. Just make sure I get the latest packages. Again, we won't be able to find any package relating to VLM CSD. What we can do, we can do manual downloading and install it. So that's the package we need. We are using x86 on the score 64 platform. If you are any other platform, then you may want to find out the right one download from here. This is the later one. So I'm gonna just get the link. Go to services TTYD and log in from here so 
So you can see I downloaded that before. So we can use in wget. That's simple, and then you get the package. But we need another one with the Lucy app to control these packages, which is we can find here. They already have built that one. You can just got it from release. Copy link. Check again. So we have both right now. So we need to install them manually from this command line. You need to use an opkg command and to install vlm, then tap to complete the command. The segmentation for try to do because we don't have VLM CSD so we cannot do that now that's a PKG OPKG update So we got a segmentation for it. Um, after some troubleshootings, I realized I downloaded the wrong file. Um, so I'm going to remove. So I can show you why I'm saying it's wrong file. It's a 100 kilobytes file. But uh, when we go back to let me remove this one first. When we go back to original, in this side, it's actually 57, 57 kilobytes. So here is a list. I was downloading this file, but actually you need to click in, and then you will see this. After download is 50. So let's get this link link address and let's um, double get this file okay now we can tell it now seems correct right now to me Let, let's install this package again let's uh, install this package again install so it looks like a incompatible with the architecture configured cannot install package VLM CSD we are i686 they are saying incompatible package. Let's go back to the downloading folder. Only thing I can think about is probably this one. Let's get this one, give it a try. So we are downloading i386 Pentium 4 OPKG uh, install ah. So that's very interesting I was thinking I'm using x86 underscore 64 this IPK file but for some reason I'm 
this architecture is using I386, taking this pendant for. So just in case you have the same issue as I had, just change it to another IPK file. Great. OPKG, now we're going to install Lucy app to have control that web interface, controller this KMS server web interface. So both are done. We can refresh screen. We should be able to get uh, this service here right now. And it's enabled. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to test it. We're going to use a Windows machine, quickly give it test. So first thing, let's check the Windows status. So we are using Windows Enterprise version. It's not activated. That's going to go to command line. We're going to run command prompt as administrator. And we're going to change the key. non core addition. Doesn't matter. Let's go to next step. So we're going to type our key manager server has been set. Activate it. Let's close this. Activate it. So that's everything I'm going to show you today. Hope you like it. Give me some up and subscribe my channel if you didn't. Have a great day.